What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 Series 9 video. Today, I know you see that Octillery team, but that's for another day. Today, we're using a Flygon team. Uh, and this Flygon is going to be packing Choice Scarf, Bulldoze, Flamethrower, Scorching Sands, Breaking Swipe. Pretty much just a full support kind of offensive Flygon on the special side of things uh, to activate Regirock. So, yeah. Going to be kind of an interesting team. I'll get into the details in a second. But before we do that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. Or at least I try to. I miss days because I'm traveling, you know, <laughs> to uh, my university doing research and I have a full-time job. But I do this in between, so we'll call it daily regardless. Uh, and answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite Hoenn Pokemon? I have quite a few Hoenn Pokemon on this team. Half of them are Hoenn Pokemon. Flygon, Regirock, Dusclops, three of my favorites, honestly. Uh, but yeah, let me know. I'd say mine has to be Absol with Flygon as a close second. But let's go ahead and talk about this team. So we're running enough speed where we outspeed Dragapult uh, with our Choice Scarf, which only really matters for possibly getting a KO with Breaking Swipe if it's low enough on health. It's pretty rare I Dynamax this Flygon. I could also go for a Scorching Sands Burn if, I feel, if I'm feeling kind of saucy. Uh, but Flygon Regirock is actually pretty reliable for beating Dragapult since... Uh, Clear body makes it so I don't actually get any attack or defense drops on this guy. So I can pretty much sack the Flygon to activate the weakness policy with Bulldoze and then hit it with a max Rockfall for a KO. Uh, we're also running Flamethrower to deal with opposing Kartana, which Regirock does not like to deal with, as well as Tapu Fini. Uh, and we have Scorching Sands as a general offensive option and Breaking Swipe just to lower attack stats, which is pretty useful on Flygon. We have Regirock with a weakness policy. I'm actually not running... Uh, zero speed IVs. One, because I have a Regirock I want to use that I got in Emerald, <laughs> which is kind of a dumb reason. But two, when you account for the Bulldoze, 50 speed is middling enough and low enough in a way where if I'm under Trick Room, I can underspeed things like Metagross and stuff. Uh, I can underspeed things like Incineroar. But if I Bulldoze something um, outside of Trick Room, I can actually just, you know, outspeed it. Things like Incineroar, I should be able to outspeed them with a, a Rock Slide and stuff, and if I'm running this next to Zapdos, I can speed boost a bit, which is, isn't is terrible, you know. Dusclops is just standard Frisk set, special defensive. Uh, we have a Leftovers Tapu Fini, very, very physically defensive. Calm Mind, Muddy Water, Moonblast Protect. Assault Vest Kartana, standard set, and standard Life Orb Zapdos. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. It should be a pretty fun team. I've tested it quite a bit, and it's pretty reliable. I actually really like how this team turned out in the end. Um, but I haven't played in quite a few days because I've been busy, so we'll see how it goes. As we see a, it's like the left side of the screen is hard trick room with like two fast options. Um, I think I wish I was safety goggles Zapdos, but I'm not, so I'm going to have to play differently. I don't have taunt on this team either, which is a little bit of an oversight. Let me see. Do I really care about the Trick Room if I have Regirock here? I don't really think I do. I think I can pretty reliably lead off Regirock and have Tapu Fini in the back to help ward off the uh, ward off the Amoongus' uh, spores and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just lead off with Flygon Regirock. Bring the Tapu Fini in the back. And Flygon's actually really great for dealing with Regieleki because we're immune to pretty much all of its attacks. And Scorching Sands... Uh, should one shot, I believe, and Bulldoze is actually a two shot. And after one Bulldoze, we outspeed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me see. I think my last Mon, I kind of want to go with the Dusclops, to be honest. I think it isn't a terrible idea, but I could also go Zapdos so that outside of Trick Room, I actually have a really threatening Pokemon for the team. So I think I'm actually going to go Zapdos, considering they have a pretty solid Trick Room option versus me. I feel, I feel relatively comfortable just Dynamaxing here. They're likely going to activate my own weakness policy. What I could do is lower the damage output from the Urshifu because it's going to want to go for uh, close combat. I can Breaking Swipe and just go for this max Rockfall into the Regieleki. And that doesn't seem awful. Like, I'm probably just going to get my weakness policy anyways. As they Volt Switch on me. And this Rockfall, they have like no switch-ins to it. So this should, be, this should be a pretty interesting outcome. Let me Breaking Swipe. That should deal with the possible Sash on this Urshifu in case it was, like, not Choice Banded. As they go for the Wicked Blow, I survive that, and I'm going to be able to one-shot this Incineroar, I believe, which is awesome. Absolutely phenomenal, and I will be able to get off another one of these while also lowering that Urshifu's damage output. I can also alternatively switch out my Flygon for something else here. Ooh, Breaking Swipe feels even 
better on this glacier to be honest but i'm somewhat tempted to switch out um because let me think i think their last mod is probably gonna be p2 if they brought the glacier here i'm pretty tempted to max steel spike this urshifu and get in my tapu fini on this hit because i would like to keep uh the flygon around to help with the reggie lucky end game Let's see if they dynamax as they do i should be able to eat one hit from that and it'll be even easier to tank that hit at plus one defense that's phenomenal that's phenomenal they're not doing too much damage to me now and i kind of think they're just going to go ahead and max guard let me go ahead and steel spike into this urshifu while i also go for a muddy water because that should cover the regieleki switch in yeah if I connect both of these, that should KO. It's going to be kind of close in the Steel Spike, but the Hail will do the rest of the of the work for me. As they go ahead and forfeit here, realizing that this Regirock is a little bit too much for them. So, good game to them. As you can see, the, uh, the Flygon put in a lot of work game one. Ooh, okay. Uh, I believe I faced this guy while I was practicing earlier. I was trying to get a couple of games in before I start recording, because I want to refresh myself on how the team works. Uh, this is actually kind of a rough matchup, but not terrible. Uh, the Garchomp gave me issues in the end because I wasn't preserving Tapu Fini correctly. I think what I want to do here is... Hmm. I mean, Flygon Regirock was fine enough. But I could alternatively... I could alternatively just lead off Zapdos here. And... My Trick Room option doesn't seem terrible. I think Trick Room looks really good. Hmm. I'm going to lead off Dusclops. But I'm also going to lead off Regirock. And in the back, I want to bring Zapdos. Because uh, Celesteela is quite an issue. I'm ready for our RL events again. Me too. Alright. Um, let me see. Do I want to lead off Dusclops? I mean, I have to be really careful with Taunt and Cinderer. I don't know if they're going to lead off with that. I'll do this. I'll do this. Uh, worst case scenario, I just protect and go for Trick Room. If they if they end up leading off with like Incineroar, Celesteela, that is going to be really, really sucky for me, but I just have to bite the bullet and just go for it. We'll do this. Celesteela, Garchomp. Phenomenal. As they actually reveal Assault Vest Celesteela and Life Orb Garchomp, this should be a pretty free Trick Room unless they like somehow manage to one-shot me. I'm going to Trick Room up and go for the Protect. Um, I'm actually somewhat tempted to try to get my weakness policy. <laughs> I'm somewhat tempted just to max Rockfall the Celesteela and eat the hit, but... Because they, they probably just want to double the Dust Clops. Am I going to make that play? I'm going to make that play. It's going to be a really risky play, but I'm going to make that play. As they Rock Slide, they're going for the flinch. They are going for that flinch, and they double the Dust Clops. So this initial damage is going to be great as long as I don't flinch, which is my favorite saying... There we go. <laughs> as long as I don't flinch, an iconic Moxie boosted saying. Uh, I should, with the sand up, be able to deal with pretty much everything. I'm somewhat tempted just to let them give me my weakness policy next turn and Will O Wisp this Garchomp to keep it from being too much of a threat. So, ooh, what if I actually double the Garchomp here with Max Quake and. I mean, the Celesteela can't protect, and that will give me my weakness policy, and then they can't defend next turn. I'm going to Quake to reduce the damage I take. Because this should deal like nothing, as they actually go for the Dust Cops, which is pretty surprising. And they Swords Dance. Okay, time to Bulldoze. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that. Give me the Rockfall on the Celesteela. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, this isn't. this is no longer fun for me. This is no longer fun. Get out of here. They Earthquake 2, that's going to get rid of my Dust Clops, and I should take this hit okay. They shouldn't be able to KO me without a crit. Awesome. And now I actually have all the offensive pressure because I have two turns to do this. Celesteela is pretty annoying because I don't think Rock Slide into Muddy Water will do enough, but a Flint should be really great here. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. That actually deals a lot. I, it might do it. It's going to be called Animus. Animus. Flinch? Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's actually really great because they can't protect next turn uh, and they can only fake out one of my Pokemon. As they decide to go Raichu, uh, my play is pretty obvious here. I'm going to want to go for a Muddy Water Rock Slide. They can't defend the Celesteela uh, and I have one more turn of Trick Room. One of these guys is getting faked out, but I think I'm okay with it. I almost want to protect the Regirock here, but no, nah, I make the right play. 
just attacking. And Raichu should drop to the Sandstorm as they end up trying to predict my Protect. Uh, I should be fine just to do the same thing, to be honest. Muddy Water into a... Yeah, they have nothing in the back that beats Zapdos 1v1. I'm just going to click the same moves. Because they have to sack one of these Pokemon in exchange for Tapu Fini. Yeah, Muddy Water should do the trick as long as I don't miss. Okay, I missed the Incineroar, which is kind of annoying. Luckily, Zapdos should go down. I'm going to go ahead and double protect here. Double protect. Um... I pretty much always just heat wave. But once again, it's an if I don't miss situation. If I don't miss. They could eerie impulse me too. Ooh, that'd be really annoying. Uh, assuming that they just want to eerie impulse. I mean, they can't. They have to choose here. They have to choose here what they want to do. Because if they eerie impulse the Zapdos, I have all the offensive pressure I need to beat Incineroar. Because of how physically defensive I am. So I'm just going to do this. They Volt Switch me. I'm going to keep my offenses here. Um... And they're going to take a lot of recoil from this Flare Blitz. So it's going to be kind of up in the air. As they go for the Parting Shot, very smart play. Uh, Hurricane or Thunderbolt. I like my chances with Thunderbolt a little bit more in the long run. But this is going to be real close. I might have to click Hurricane to wrap up the game. <laughs> How much did Thunderbolt do? 29%. Ah, I think I lost. Let me go for the Hurricane. That's my only shot. Yeah, GG. Well played. And I don't get the confusion. So yeah, unfortunately, a loss there. But they played really well. And I think I adapted well enough, considering what I saw before. As we see a Magnezone, that's kind of it's kind of wacky. That's kind of wacky. Uh, let me go ahead and lead off Flygon, Regirock again, because that's just really nice here. Uh, Carton in the back doesn't look terrible, all things considered. Like, they do have a lot of options for beating it. But Kartana should be able to, like if I'm Dynamax, deal with a lot of these things. Um, the two Electric types makes me not want to bring Tapu Fini like ever. But Trick Room Mode also seems really nice. Hmm. I think Tapu Fini's fine enough, because I don't think they're going to bring both of their Electric types. So I'll bring Tapu Fini in the back here, and I think Dusclops is okay. Eh, we'll go Dusclops, yeah. So they go Magnezone and a Regirock. <laughs> what am I saying? I have the Regirock and uh, Incineroar. I kind of want to say they're just going to go ahead and Max Steel Spike me and Fake Out. I mean, I could Dynamax and try to <laughs> try to one-shot this Magnezone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Protect Bulldoze. That's fine, just because of the like the sheer amount of um, fear this Magnezone should be feeling. After a Bulldoze, I should be faster than that, unless they're like absolutely max speed, I think. Let me see. I think I'll be faster. I'm going to go ahead and Bulldoze again, and Max Quake. Because I don't, they don't have any switch into that, unless they also brought Rotom, which I really don't think they did. I seriously doubt they brought the Rotom here. And that'll give me a special defense boost, which is really nice. As they go Tapu Fini... I should be taking this Magnezone away from them. They get a speed drop. I get a special, not a special attack drop, uh, an attack boost. Regirock is in. He's on the field. He's got a special defense boost, which is awesome. And there's their Galarian Moltres. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're going to protect that Galarian Moltres. So I'm going to go ahead and Rockfall this thing. And uh, I'll get in my Tapu Finny. I'm going to Rockfall the Finny, actually, just because I get a lot more from, uh, from that. As they protect, I get a special defense boost, so I don't really care. They're trying to get their weakness policy. Now is the time for me to rockfall that thing. Uh, let me go ahead and calm mind on top of that, because it should allow me to beat the Finny in the long run. And they have no safe switch-ins for this Moltres at this point. There's no shot of them flinching me or one-shotting me, unless they crit, which I have to say that every time, because I always feel dumb when I get crit. And then it gives me a, a nice little bit of wiggle room to be upset, because the bad thing happened. The bad thing happened, guys. By the way, uh, me and Kudi Loco tried recording a Tar Shot Colossal video. It did not go well. <laughs> and uh, the audio was messed up in it. You know, OBS, not OBS, but um, my audacity crashed when I tried to, you know, 
export it, which really sucked because I, <laughs> I liked the video. It was a cool little video, uh, but I wasn't able to use it in the end. So I'm going to calm mind again because like they're not KOing this Regirock and I can rock slide. They can flinch the Regirock, but I still get like plus one on my finny. And with leftovers, I should be perfectly fine. Wax me this time. GG. Well played. Just wax that guy. Clean as a baby's bottom. Or smooth, or whatever it is. What's the saying? Smooth as a baby's bottom? It's kind of a weird saying. But he got waxed. He's bald, like Esam. Alright. Uh, shout out Esam, by the way. Great content creator. Uh, let me see. They do have the Alola Whack, but Alola Whack doesn't like Max Airstream much. I actually really, really like the Zapdos lead on this game. Zapdos lead's looking pretty, uh, pretty sussy. And... Hmm. They have a lot of options for dealing with Regirock, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. I don't think I'm going to bring it this game, but Flygon doesn't look terrible. Especially with Breaking Swipe and stuff, it can actually deal with uh, a lot of their physical attackers. So I'm actually going to make uh, a Flygon lead here, Tapu Fini in the back, and Kartana is looking pretty bad here, not going to lie. I'll go ahead and just go... Mm, do I want to go Regirock? Is Regirock that bad? Regirock isn't that bad, if I'm going to be honest here. And it's it's better than Dusclops, just because Dusclops is just so passive. And they also have a lot of answers to Dusclops, so I'll go Regirock. As they go Flygon, or as they go uh, Celesteela Grimmsnarl. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just predict like a Meteor Beam. They can also double out here into the, the Marowak Alola. So I could just flamethrower the Celesteela, you know? Mm. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I'm not thinking this game. I'm not thinking this game. If I overthink it, I'm going to lose. So they go for the trick. Uh, that's fine. I'm dealing a ton of damage to you this turn. And the next turn, I think my flamethrower is going to KO. Oh, that is very assault vest. That is that is extremely assault vested. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, is it time to lightning or is flare doing more at this point? They're doing the same. Lightning feels very unsafe. Flare is fine. Like, they're literally doing the same damage because of the weather condition. Uh, but if they rock fall me, then lightning does more. But I'm really scared of Lola Wax, so... Assuming they're going to steal spike again, I'll just go Tapu Fini. That is extremely Assault Vest. There's the Airstream. There's the Spirit Break. At the very least, I'm denying them some... Okay, that's cool. You know, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, salt in chat? Salt in chat, maybe? Perhaps? Perhamp? Perhamster? There's the Alola Whack. Um, Alola Whack, honestly, has got nothing. Nothing on me here. Like, I do have that lagging tail. TBH, I do got that lagging tail. But... I should still preserve the Zapdos for beating the Rillaboom. I'm going to go ahead and go Regirock here. And... I'm going to Moonblast this Grimmsnarl, because I think they just always Flare Blitz Zapdos. They could also Poltergeist Finny, but not the end of the world. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let me get in the Flygon. Flygon's looking pretty fly here. I don't need to activate a Weakness Policy. Actually, I could, but they're probably just going to trick me anyways. But even then, I get a life orb. So, so do I care? Uh, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock slide. I could also breaking swipe, and that'd be pretty safe. But I think rock slide is not rock slide. Bulldoze. It's probably fine. Or I could scorching sands rock, uh, rock slide, and that'd probably do it because I should be faster than this Marowak, considering I'm not minimum speed. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to Scorching Sands and Rock and uh, rock Slide. As they go Rillaboom. Pretty much just going to hand me the Grimstar and I have a chance to burn here. No burn for me. Bit unfortunate. Uh, but I do get to hold on to the uh, Regirock for this turn. I shouldn't be in range of Grassy Glide, but I will be in range of Woodhammer. And that <laughs> Marowak is actually pretty scary. I cannot lie, that Marowak is pretty scary. Uh, we'll go ahead and protect here on that fake out turn. 
Or do I take full advantage of it and try to attack? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, regardless, next turn I'm going to have to rock, uh, rock slide the opponent's team. Sun is gone. I'm probably still going to lose the Zapdos. Rock slide, Hurricane, that's my best bet. Let's see if they got the wood hammer. They definitely do. Regirock's defensive enough where I think I can take a Grassy Glide. I didn't calc for it, though. It also depends on the item. Like, maybe their Assault Vest Rilla Boom. As they U-turn for some unknown reason. Hello? And I get the flinch. I'll take it. I don't know why you would U-turn there. Do you not have Grassy Glide? Interesting. Uh, GG. Fellas, we have a bra moment on our hands. There were many grass moves that could have been clicked there. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what that was. Why? Let me think. Are they like full support Rillaboom? Are they like fake out, knock off, U-turn, taunt? That's the only explanation I can think of. That is quite literally the only explanation I can think of. Uh, versus this team, we go flag on Regirock. Uh, in the back here, I'm going to go ahead and bring the Tapu Fini. And I think Zapdos is pretty baller in this matchup. And what I do here, um, I face something similar to this before. You pretty much just always lead off with Flygon because Flygon has the tools to either breaking swipe the Lando turn one, uh, allowing you to get a free weakness policy off, or if they lead off with Spectrier, uh, you get to go for a, a Bulldoze, uh, which will lower its speed quite a bit. I could have also let off with like Zapdos... Uh, and Flygon, and that probably would have had a similar effect. But I actually really just like the Regirock lead. Like, look how many things it can body on lead. <laughs> Landorus, like, if he if he lets me get off a breaking swipe, it's just it's just gone, you know. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for this bulldoze here, and I think I'm just gonna hit it. I, I really just think I'm going to hit the spec here. I, like, they could fake tears me, and I guess that'd be kind of annoying. That'd be kind of annoying. Hmm. 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 Like, will o me, I don't care. I just really want to get rid of spec here, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Like, I'm still going to get rid of this thing. You might be thinking, Marcos, you're thinking too much in the short term, but am I really? Like, Spectre is one of their best tools versus me. <laughs> and I'm pretty much at neutral with Regirock with the special defense boost. Like, they got nothing. They got nothing on me. Like, go ahead and try to win with Registeel. I'll find a way. There's the Landotarian. Landotarian, more like Lando Taunt Care. Uh, let me go with Zapdos here to switch in on that. Um, I should be able just to Steel Spike to KO this guy, and that'll give me a boost on the Zapdos. Or alternatively, I could get in Tapu Fini and just hope that they don't have the, uh, the Regieleki. I'll do that. I'll get in Tapu Fini here. Because I should take a Quake. Yeah, pretty easily. And that'll do it there. Critical Hit probably didn't matter because it's plus two Regirock. It's neutral. And there's the Regieleki. Uh, a little bit concerning. A little bit concerning, but nothing that Flygon shouldn't be able to deal with. Let me think. How much did they do with that Max Quake? I'm at plus one defense now, and I also have a special defense boost. Um, I kind of want to just go ahead and Quake the Leki. Or even Rockfall would do it. Let me see. Because their Quake did 51% to me. I'm at 36. They'd have to like double into me to do this. I think I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and Moonblast and Max Rockfall. Yeah, they target the Finny. And I survive. So I'm going to take the Regieleki away from them. And that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get in the Zapdos here. They have no, no speed boost. So I can just Breaking Swipe. And I could Hurricane. But I'm, I'm probably better off not clicking that. I would assume here they would just Max Rockfall my Zapdos. So I'm willing to Protect... To save it. And if I get two breaking swipes off, I'm in a pretty good spot. Is the airstream? Not the end of the world. 
Um, they do have a special defense boost. Ooh, kind of kind of scary. Depending on if they're like, uh, depending on if they're Swords Dance or not, that could be annoying. Let me Hurricane here. They're Swords Dance. That that's gonna be annoying. And I miss. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, this is just hyper offense. This is like a standard hyper offense team, if that makes sense. Like, how do I say it? It's not standard hyper offense because there's obviously like standard, standard hyper offense. But I feel like I've seen this exact composition of Pokemon way too many times for it not to be a thing. You know, you have like the Tailwind Whimsicott that always has a Jack button. It's always got it. Uh, and then you have the um, the Trick Room Imprison Indeedy Mail. You have Choice Scarf or Choice Banded, uh, Dracovish, so it's not like I haven't seen this before. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna lead off Flygon. I'm going to lead off Flygon here. Uh, and I think in the back here. Hmm. Kind of want to go Flygon Regirock, even though it's kind of an obvious lead. Just because it covers a lot of things, and I can, there are a lot of defensive switches I can make. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll also bring Tapu Fini in the back, and I'm feeling the the Dust Clops in this game. Yeah, uh, this should be fine. This should be fine. Yeah, I can go ahead and assuming that they are, I don't want to break and swipe that thing. I really don't. I really don't. Just because, like, this thing becomes so annoying. If I Breaking Swipe, do you guys think I can take a hit from the Dracovish? I think I can, just because I'm Regirock. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You guys are going to think I'm an idiot, but I'm going to do it. If, and if and if this if this fails, if, if this 2 IQ play fails, I'll end the video. Okay? Check it. Because they're just going to take my flag on for me. They're going to take my flag on for me, right? Go ahead, get your Defiant Boost. Get your Defiant Boost, I don't care. Because you're going to target flag on every time. Hey, hey, but now... But now, I'm going to live this, right? Right? Hey. Hey. <laughs> what I tell you guys. Now he's at minus one. And I get in my Dust Clops. And if they don't have the Indeedy on the field, that's the Regieleki. That's not an Indeedy. That's not an Indeedy. Let me Trick Room here. Scarf flag on. Scarf Flygon. <laughs> Just gonna say it. Ooh, that was a pretty powerful Electro Ball. Hey, they still win anyways, though. They still win anyways. I'm stupid. I'm just a little stupid. The Electro Ball, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. You know what? We'll just take it. We'll take it. You know? Good game. Good game. I still think the team's good. I'm going to say it. It won a room tour. I'm just playing bad today. Join me next time when I use a different bad team with uh, Scope Lens Octillery. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this, you know, leave a like, do whatever. I know I didn't win like every game, but I think you guys can see how the team has some potential uh, in terms of just Flygon being a utility mon. But let me know. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever. I'll see you in the next one.